this is the one of the yoke electromagnetic yoke which can be used to do the inspection in a magnetic particle testing and magnetic particle testing it is a one of the entity method so there are many types of yokes are there this is called electromagnetic yoke and next one permanent yoke also will become and this is used to call buffer which can contain a iron order as you are seeing here okay so it is used to apply the iron particles on a inspection piece and this is our test bar this one ASTM test block and which is having six holes uh, first one will be on 1 mm 2 mm 3 mm 4 mm 5 mm 6 mm so this inspection will be used up to 6 mm only and this is called pi gauge which will use to check the field adequacy field adequacy is nothing but the suitability as I uh, hope you know uh, there are two types of magnetic waves are there one is longitudinal and one is circular so with the help of this pi gauge we can check out our equipment is going to generate the longitudinal or other circular magnetic field so first I'll show you I'll show you how this equipment will be work out uh, this is the power supply this is a regulator okay intensity regulator and this is the neutral mode this is AC mode and this is DC mode AC mode is used to check the surface defects you can call up to a 1 or 2 mm only as I explained here and DC mode will be used up to 6 mm so now I'll prove you here how this yo is going to be work please zoom it now I'm going to magnetize this as you are seeing here see the particle is moving okay now you can see this particle is moving means our equipment is working now I'm going to do a buffering on that now you can see now you can see this is the AC mode work as you are seeing here this is a sharp and dark image then we can call this is the surface defects now gradually you can see that image is going to become a fuzzy uncleared so here you can see this is a very low indication low indication is nothing but a up to 6 mm as you are seeing here 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now I'll show you the pi gauge indicator now see here it is having a lines now I'm going to put in a straight motion now you can see one minute huh? Now you can see I'm going to magnetize that. Now, now you can see this cross lines has cached, but this straight line has not contained any magnetic particles. Means this magnetic field is running from south pole to north pole south pole to north pole is nothing but a longitudinal magnetic field so with the help of this pi gauge we can prove this electromagnetic yoke is going to generate the longitudinal magnetic field